the Ranger pistol is way better than I thought. But is it stronger than the Striker AR? Mm. It's direct competitor. Let's find out today, guys. In this video, we'll talk about the patch notes, how it affects the debate, the loadout, attachments, and at the very end, we'll do a direct comparison between the Striker AR and the Ranger pistol. My name is TSK, I am the Sniper King, and let's get into it, boys. First up, patch notes. The Striker AR got a slight nerf of one damage on all rarities, whereas the Ranger pistol got a two damage per shot buff on all rarities apart from uh, common, but only got a one damage buff. I have seen people taking the Ranger pistol over the Striker AR in the patch before already, so this certainly helps to perhaps push it over the edge. Let's talk builds. The Ranger pistol fits perfectly into the SMG slash AR slot. We'll talk about it uh, in the next section more in detail when we talk about the attachments. Uh, the other items you want to be playing with the Ranger pistol are a shotgun and a sniper rifle. Let's talk shotguns first. The good thing about the Ranger pistol is it works way better as a follow-up to the pump shoddy than the striker AR is, which is one of the main reasons why I didn't play um the pump at all this season. And yeah, I played around with this and it actually felt pretty good. However, I do still believe that the auto shoddy is just a superior weapon this season. The pump shoddy does give some inconsistent hits for sure. And sometimes even when it looks like you have that perfect headshot lined up, you do hit the enemy with like a, a classic 34 damage. If this happens, most of the time you just straight up die to anybody with an auto shoddy. Because not only does it fire way faster, but I actually do get more consistent damage out of it too. So I would still recommend going with the auto shoddy here. Pick up a quick mech on it, or even better, get the mystic from Lavish Lair. You will also get medallion. Medallions are obviously uh, way worse than they used to be. However, I still think uh, they're super worth it. And yeah, two birds, one stone. The range weapon for this build will be the sniper rifle again. I think it's superior um, to the AR, to be honest, to every weapon uh, this season, which is why I made a complete sniping guide as well. Definitely, definitely, definitely check that video out after this. I got over build attachments, everything over there as well. I link in the description. But very quickly, you want to have a two or four times scope on the sniper rifle since we're going to be using it for mid and long range here mainly and an extended magazine to get the bullet count up to five. Our two remaining slots will be used for movement and heal. I personally am a fan of the grapple hook over the shockwave grenades. I know many people see it the other way around, but I just really like the consistency of never running out of movement. Whereas on the other side, running out of movement is one of the easiest way to uh, consistently die. So while they're fancy, while they're cool, while they're fun, and to be honest, probably slightly stronger than a grapple hook, they do run out. Then lastly, I recommend going either big shields or fish. Yeah, since the medallion nerf, um, I don't think med kits are valid anymore. At least uh, unless you get five or four medallions then i think it's totally fine but if you don't have that go big shields or fish you want to be able to regen your shield all the way to 100 okay next up the most important um point before we hop over to the direct comparison and that's the attachments. The drum mag is insane for the Ranger pistol. It's pretty straightforward. Having more bullets means you can shoot the enemy more often. And that's good, guys. Because if you hit the more shots, you do more damage. <laughs> uh, the, the reload speed is already insanely fast. You don't need to go for the fast mag. This is, by the way, also one of the main advantages over the um, Striker AR. But yeah, I have like a graphic with all the details that I'm going to show you in a moment here. Next up, uh, the muzzle break is also really good to reduce the recoil. The recoil is already pretty good on the Ranger pistol. But this just like makes the thing into a complete laser. Combine this with a red eye sight and the weapon just feels so insanely clean. I've seen people use the hollow sight as well. Honestly, it's not even bad. The advantage of the red eye is definitely though that you can use it better as a follow-up to the shotgun in close range. Especially relevant, of course, if you play the pump. But I did honestly enjoy it more on all distances. I don't know, man. It's just something about the, how clean it feels to me. And yeah, muzzle break, must pick. But the suppressor does sound really cool. That's also an advantage, I guess. But other than that, uh, that's a little bit useless. And yeah, sadly, there are no grips available for this one. I think both a uh, vertical and an angle program would have been really insane on this. But what you can get here is a laser again helping a lot with a follow-up for the um pump shoddy as you can use it like you normally would use an smg but again i like running the auto shoddy so i use it at a slightly higher distance so i personally didn't go for it because i'm broke but obviously no downside to picking it up and definitely good for super close range okay and now we go for the beef of the video guys okay direct comparison ranger pistol versus striker ar check this out we're gonna compare two different ones here i'll tell you why in just a moment that was me first up we got dps and 
uh, the striker AR at a clear advantage here. 218.7 versus uh, the Ranger pistols 165 here on blue rarity. Don't let this fool you though. If you look all the way on the bottom, you can see that the recoil on the Ranger pistol is way better than on the striker AR. And this here is the biggest advantage of the Ranger pistol. It feels insanely easy to connect all your bullets on the enemy. And I personally have been getting more damage out of it than with the striker AR most of the time. The horizontal uh, recoil making the biggest difference for me personally. Vertical, you can just drag it down. But horizontal is pretty hard to predict. You can obviously practice it and get better at it. But yeah, this is what I mean. It feels way easier to get consistent damage on the enemy, which is pretty much uh, all you need to consistently kill enemies. I really, really like it again as a follow-up for a snipe. Hit that body shot, push the enemy. If you can't get in range for the auto shotty, use the pistol and spam him down. It just feels super effective. Magazine size, obviously on the side of the striker AR. Same as fire rate. But to be honest, because of the recall, you're gonna be missing more shots with the striker AR. So this is not as bad as it looks. And guys, look at the reload speeds. This coupled with the recall just makes the Ranger pistol the more consistent weapon. It doesn't feel like a game over if you have to reload. And obviously you can make this even faster if you go for the quick mag. However, it's just better to get the bigger mag, I think, to even out the, the playing field and the magazine size a little bit as well. And yeah, the rest is very similar, aka 100% similar. But guys, there's one more thing we need to talk about. The full potential of the striker AR is even higher because we do have a mystic striker AR in the game, whereas we only have a legendary pistol max. And of course, this means the DPS goes even further on uh, the mystic Nisha striker AR up to 251, which is absolutely insane against the 184 DPS on the legendary pistol, which is, to be honest, way harder to find than Nisha striker AR, which you will literally see every single game you can hunt them down who ha whoever killed the boss if it wasn't you you know but obviously you can just um decide to push the boss yourself make it your game plan and pretty much start every match with the nisha strike AR as well since for both weapons you obviously want to get into a wall so why not just make that fencing field and get nisha strike AR? and yeah nisha strike AR obviously higher dps higher damage, even better vertical recoil at this point, buffed reload speed, and I do think all these changes compared to the um, same rarity comparison, especially since, again, normally you will not find a legendary pistol either. What is more realistic is comparing a blue pistol with Nisha Striker AR, and this just honestly does not look fair anymore. Yes, sometimes you do find purples as well, but most of the time you will be stuck with the blue ones you get from the vault, at least more often than Nothing. And yeah, look at this difference. 165 DPS to 251. And yeah, at the end, I think this is why I do choose at least Nisha Strike AR over the pistol. However, guys, of course, we can also always adjust. Sometimes Nisha Strike AR is just not available to us at all. And to be honest, just going with higher rarity seems to be the play at this point. And I would say same rarity, play the Ranger pistol, upgrade it in the vault, as we said in the attachments part. And other than that, choose rarity. Okay, let's do a quick summary. The Ranger Ranger pistol is more accurate and has way better reload speeds. However, it lacks DPS and bullet speed, by the way, compared to the Striker AR. If you want consistency, pick the pistol. If you want potential DPS, pick the Striker AR. In total, best case, you do get Nisha's mystical Striker rifle. If that's taken, go Rarity or Ranger pistol. By the way, since we talked so much about Nisha's Striker AR, I made a full video on it. That was actually my second video this season. Also linking that below. But yeah, more importantly, I think, guys, you need to check out the sniper video because i really believe sniping is key this season i think it's the most important weapon to fully focus on check it out video thanks for watching guys really appreciate it make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more really helps me out as i'm just a very small channel but yes catch you guys next time have a good one Bye bye